All right, how's it going everybody? And welcome back to some more Feed the Beast Unhinged. So we are back once again in the, I don't know whatever to call it. So I guess this is just going to be the Shrek Shack or whatever you want to call it. Anyhow, um, last episode, I apologize because I um, I stupidly placed my face cam over Ray's mini map, which I completely forgot was there. So now that should be fixed and you should be seeing my face cam in the top left hand corner. Hopefully I remember that. If not, well, herpty derpty derp and I will try and fix that in the very next episode. However, um, I do apologize for this being a bit of a late episode um you know I've oh my I just paused the screen <laughs> but um you know as always I usually have really busy weeks with school and family and all and I why are you updating Apple go away oh goodness gracious <laughs> iTunes always wants to update at the worst times but anyways I've been extremely busy with school and whatnot so um I haven't really been able to play Minecraft or a whole lot of Xbox altogether so that means like no Grand Theft Auto and no fun times altogether but hey you know what now we're here and we are able to have a fantastic time so if you recall last time we kind of found ourselves in this little shack right here now we're not sure what we're going to do with this shack quite yet and I did look into some texture packs and I forgot to install a texture pack for this episode so I apologize for that don't worry we'll, we will get to it eventually no biggie but I'm um, now for I believe we're okay on materials for now I mean we have um, iron all stuff should probably leave that home to smelt and all you know knowing that my luck with uh, living and all is very it's very slim it, it just I'm just gonna be honest I don't live very often for very long so if we are playing hardcore this series would be over before you know it and let's just see let's just try and get some more sticky sticks in here now, um, a lot of people asked about the status of a possible server. Now, the deal with the server is um, I've played Tekka before and I played on servers. Not professional servers, just like um, uh, servers off a desktop, like off my computer. I would run the server and then play with my pals. And let's just put a torch down right here just so we know where our stoof is, Mr. Creeper. You will not ruin our time. But anyways... Um, Oh, you know certain parts of certain mods for example teleportation pipes from um, I believe that's buildcraft they will make your game crash and the server it'll just what is this it's a green ore what is that oh my goodness I've never seen a green ore before that's new but um yeah teleportation pipes for example will crash a server they make errors with um, different materials going through chunks that aren't loaded and it makes invisibility glitches and then it just crashes the server because of chunks that aren't loaded there's blocks all of a sudden so the game's just like what am I doing and it just quits right there and the server stops and it's all over now I do have a friend who should be able to run us a professional server hopefully he'll be able to do it for some time without um, it costing him a whole lot of money we chip in for it if it does become an issue with that but um if you do want to make a server we can do that I mean it's a possibility nonetheless what is this oh my goodness all these ores Whoa. and we oh what it hold on a second what is this what's this a, a, a certus quartz what is a certus quartz and what are these what uh, tin oh yeah okay okay I'm, I'm getting back into the groove here i'm probably gonna need shvax to kind of sort this stuff out because when i used to play this i used to play with shvax 24 7 that was my texture pack straight up so yeah this is fantastic and um oh boy uh getting back into the mining groove because that is what this game is all about all right so i said we we're going to go furnish our house up but now we found ourselves in a mine oh my goodness it's just the factors of Minecraft. Just, you know, like being able to go build a house and then like, oh boy, mining, look at that, that's fantastic. But anyways, if we do want to run a server, um, I would like to kind of get a start in Tekkit. I mean, um, feed the beast before anybody else comes on the server because I know a lot of people play Minecraft a whole lot more than me and are more into it than me probably. And that means that a lot of the materials and a lot of stuff around my starting house is probably going to be taken away. Quarries are going to be built all over the place. I really won't have a chance. Now, I don't mean that to sound as selfish as I'm sure it did because I really do enjoy playing with every single one of you however it just becomes a struggle when like I'm not able to um, do anything in the mission because we're not really mission necessarily but the game because everybody else has uh, pretty much gotten a head start and I'm just kind of uh, you know I'm, I've been thrown under the bus of you all. I've been thrown under the creeper and yeah that can be an issue so um, if we do want to make a server if a lot of people want to do it that's fine by me we'll just go right through with it and we'll see if we can do that otherwise for the moment I would prefer keeping this a single player world until like I've done just a lot of stuff you know I've gotten a head start just seeing what I can do and everybody else can come on and beat me easily because that's what everybody does in Minecraft because a lot of people are much better than me in Minecraft I mean I'm still learning stuff you ever see like one of those videos just like 10 things you didn't know about Minecraft I'm like 
I've been playing since Alpha. I know what's going on here. And I learn new things because, uh, yeah. <laughs> Barely I don't know everything since Alpha. Anyways, yes, we are back with some more Feed the Beast. Oh, man, I've been really enjoying Feed the Beast. I've never played it before, so this is a new adventure. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have played it too. And I was strongly considering going with Hexit. But uh, I looked into it, and a lot of the mods are stuff that I've just never really dwelled with. So is Feed the Beast, but I kind of know what I'm doing with Industrial Craft. So I felt somewhat confident in doing a nice little um, playthrough. not Or just, you know, just a nice little calming series because you know every day I'm sure your jimmies get rustled in more ways than I can possibly fathom and what better way to unrustle your jimmies than to watch and play some minecraft because you know I'm playing and I'm sure you guys can be playing too just listen to me in the background because you know that's always fun now let's see what's oh planes that means they're oh that means there could be a village what 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 is that what is that what is that is that a beehive that's a beehive pretty sure it's a beehive yeah all right now there's one thing I know from Shin and that's that you have to hit one of those beehives with a grafter I believe no it's not a grafter that's how you get saplings you have to hit it with like um a scoop it's what's called it's a scoop and uh, let me see that I gotta make sure I gotta confirm scoop yes I knew it okay so we have to craft a scoop and then we get some bees and then we have to build apiaries for the bees that allow the bees to mate with each other and then we'll get more bees from that and then from that we can go into forest I believe and the different categorization of trees so you can get like a ton of really cool trees and get everything from mahogany to Grand Didier's Baobab and all that stuff so that's um, a little road of tech it that or that's not I think that's forest trail together that we could dwell in uh, eventually but you know first things first we just got to find ourselves on this island because it seems like it's not ending and that always makes me a bit scared because I like knowing where I am and I always enjoy an island because like I've said before I just like knowing my confines when playing Minecraft like if you're ever playing a horror game for example do you just like whenever you're in a, in a building or something do you ever just want to know where you are so if you, you know nothing's gonna come up behind you I know that that's an example for sure all right so let's just kill some sheepy sheeps because they are guarding this beehive wait a second, is this auto switch do we have auto switch hang on oh wait, uh, it just oh it's auto fill okay yeah I got you now all right so we have enough materials for a bed now that'll be fantastic alrighty so let's just see what's going on here I hope you guys have had a very nice day randomly enough I just you know sometimes people just have bad days and they're just sitting there all pouty pow what is this what is this a what 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 is what What? What? What is happening? What is happening? What is? Why? What did I? I didn't want this. What is this? What do I do? If I? What did? What is? What is this? What is this place? What is this? What is this called? Unraveled fabric. Oh. What am I supposed to do with unraveled fabric? How do I even get out? What did I? Uh, <laughs> what is this? Someone help me! What? If I attack one of these things, I'm gonna get decked, and I have all this cool stuff on me. I don't want to get decked, but I I can't find my way through here without killing one of these things. I feel. All right. Well, it's obviously a hostile, and if I attack this thing, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get mackle murked. So, let's just uh, go all in. All right. What do I do? Uh, is that it? Oh man, he's making a funny sound. What? 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 Hey. Can- No! No! No, I don't want to be back here! Oh, goodness gracious! How am I supposed to get out of here? Oh my- uh, Someone's gonna have to help me out with this. I've got no idea what mod this is even from. This is just like a giant, crazy place with a bunch of floating mirrors. And if I ever hit one of them, they teleport me back to the top of the world and I don't know how to stop it and someone please help me. What am I- Oh my goodness! What is this? Because look, it's just gonna teleport me back to the very start. I'm just gonna keep falling. I don't wanna fall. Stop it! Let me go, go and get out of here! Oh my goodness. What do <laughs> I've got no idea what to do. I was just exploring in my Minecraft world, and then this happened, and then. Did. Oh, I made it. I made it. What? Where am I? What? How am I even supposed to get back? Wait, these are rubber trees. But what kind of tree is this? 
What am I doing here? This is... I'm so confused. What is this? Raw rubber? Oh, is this a rubber tree too? Or is this like a super psychedelic rubber tree? Because, oh my goodness, what just happened? I am really confused right now. I'm going to want some of these rubber saplings though. This is industrial craft. I know that much. <laughs> Oh, wow, what am I even supposed to do? Is that a rubber sapling? I believe I just got one. Or is it up there? I'm sure I saw one. Ah, yeah, there he is. Okay, dokie. Well, we spawned back in some completely foreign place, and I'm hoping that's our jungle biome over there. Might as well just go grab the sugar cane while we can. <laughs> I've got no idea what world that was. I don't even know what I'm going to do with this fabric stuff. That just makes no sense to me. I'm really confused. It and where am I even supposed to go? Oh, my goodness. I Wait, do I have a map? I'm pretty sure if I, I pressed something, I got a map. It was like X or something. Okay, so that's that. That's not really even going to help us. Wait, zoom level times two. How am I supposed to zoom that out? Can I press minus? Okay, that's not helping. All right. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to wander on back this direction. I've got no idea how to get home. Oh, my goodness. It wasn't even really a home. It was just like, a, it was just the Shrek shack. And, you know, the Shrek shack was fantastic because nothing else happened there. It was just a nice little hole in the ground. It was a shack. And <laughs> then I decided to go through the bad portal and I had to fight some whatever they were, giant mirrors of death. And that happened. So now I'm stuck here, not knowing where to go or what to do. And there's new big friends and oh goodness gracious I probably should have kept mind of my coordinates alrighty um, if this jungle biome does not prove to take us home I think I'm just going to loop de loop it while I lag uncontrollably uh, let's just try and loop de loop it back here I'm guessing oh boy this this doesn't seem anything it just like spawned me back in a completely random place and I just oh my goodness I'm not wait is that another one of those that's another one of those that's another one of those demon portals Oh, man, those things are... Oh, I don't understand why anybody would put those in. What? Can I take this down? I'm taking this down. I don't want this. I'm not going to let anybody else get harmed. Oh, wait, I want to take this chiseled sandstone because that stuff looks cool. All right, hang on. Let's just grab this. Oh, yeah. I don't even... Okay, so we are back. My Minecraft crashed for whatever reason when I picked up one of those, um, the chiseled stands, sandstone, not sandstone, just normal stone from that portal, and it was just like, oh my goodness, undetected thingy thing, you are going to die in 36 seconds, and my Minecraft crashed, and I was very sad, but we're back now. We still have no idea where we're going or where home is, so I'm guessing we're just gonna have to start up anew as soon as we are about, as soon as we are talking about furnishing up the shack. Now we're back to square one. We have to build back everything. And at least we have some wool to uh, get going with a house and a bed, so that's going to be fantastic. Now, I want to try a new building strategy this time. I want to make like this casual urban looking house. I want to have this cool little patio and like a little deck, and then it's just a cool little house. It's got a living room. These are some different bees. There's like swamp bees. Those are Shrek bees. What is this? Is this like honey? This is so confusing. I've got no idea. Oh, no, I'm all smelly now. Am I smelly? Oh, I don't want to be smelly. Oh, did I just... Oh, I stepped in poison stuff. Oh, no. Oh, no. That wasn't a good idea. Maybe it's diffused by going in water. Yes, maybe. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, that was a bad idea. Don't go into poison lakes. <laughs> I thought it was a lake of honey, but no, it's just a lake of death. That is, that is quite misleading. It could have been gravy for all I know. If any of you liked uh, Ed and Eddie back in the day, if you are a 90s kid, well, Ed liked gravy, and I'm sure he would have jumped in there willingly, as did I. Alrighty, so, as I said before, I really dislike building in swamp, jungle, and tundra biome. So I really only like building in plains. But, you know, I think we can make an exception. I want to try and make a beachfront property this time around. It would be cool, you know, have like a little dock and have it all put together because I know a lot of stuff in Buildcraft and whatnot, like a lot of engines need to be cooled by water, so we could have an infinite water source like in our little lake over here, and it'd be really cool. So let's just take a look around because, I don't know, it's just a swamp. It always makes me depressed for whatever reason. It's just I, the darker tone of dirt and just the general unhappiness projected by the soil just makes me really... Uh, it does not make me optimistic. It just makes me honestly want to die. Not that I really want to die, just that... Ugh, swamp biomes, they are not fun. And that is like another, uh, that's like glow in the dark bees. How are, how do the bees glow in the dark? Okay, I am quite confused. Oh my. <laughs> Oh, something we could try. We could try building into... No, I don't really want to build into a mountain. I mean, we could do that for a secret base. Now, I'm not sure if the ICBM mod is installed. That's like a missile mod. That'd be cool to make like a an in-mountain silo. That'd be something interesting to do. But, uh, boy, you know how Minecraft starts. Starts? <laughs> how Minecraft starts. We gotta get into it. We gotta find ourselves a place to settle down. And so far, we are not having much luck because I am in one of my most hated biomes. And I can only see on my map that I'm heading further 
further and further into it, which probably isn't a fantastic idea. There's some more glow-in-the-dark bees over there. However, we do need a scoop for those. Now, I believe a scoop is relatively easy to make. However, I just don't feel like using the materials right now. Wait a second. I think... Wait. Wait. Did we just find our way back home? If we just found our way back home, that is... That is incredible if we just did that. If we just managed to find our way back home. Oh, no. I saw a bunch of light, and I was like, wait a second. This might be it. Now, I have found a plains biome. This is what I like to see. This is These are prime breeding grounds. This is where all of it goes down. As you can see, all the mobs in the field, they're all like, oh, look at that guy. He's down. He's, he's down. <laughs> However you want to take that. Now, I think this is... Oh, wow. Could, it could be like a little lakefront right here. A little pond front. <laughs> a pond front property because, you know, those are always in high demand. I think this would be an interesting place to settle down right here. Yeah, take a look at this. It's shallow water. We could always edit that, you know, just uh, take out some, the underlayer and make it a bit of an interesting area. And we have a nice field behind us. Now, we don't have any oil or anything around here, so that would be a bit of a hindrance. But we have a little bit of everything. We've got a jungle back there. We've got plains. We've got tundra. We've got a bunch of spruce trees. I think this would be an interesting place to start up so uh let's see right here let's just turn half of our wood into spruce wood because this is going to be i'm going to try and map this out the best i can but oh boy it usually just goes best when i'm building it from scratch so you know i think that might actually be something that we start up in the next episode because i'm sure i've already spent enough time just rambling running around and getting lost in that random fabric dimension i'm just going to call that like the tony dimension because there's this one place in our town where you get your carpet done and it's called uh tony's fabrics and everything so i'm just gonna call it the tony dimension <laughs> If you're a Tony and you're watching this, we'll consider that your unofficial shout out, Tony. Well, anyways, I think we'll get back to building our fantastic house in the very next episode of Feed the Beast Unhinged. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all. Come on, work. And goodness gracious, I always make that mistake. And I'll see you all very soon.